two, one, zero. The next giant leap for space flight. We have liftoff of the Falcon 9. NASA and a U.S. company called SpaceX successfully launched a new commercial rocket called Falcon 9, carrying a capsule into space for a quick test flight. Stage propulsion performing nominally. Its mission? To one day carry cargo and eventually astronauts to and from the International Space Station, a critical job once NASA's own space shuttle is retired next year. The SpaceX mission today is the first time an entrepreneurial enterprise has joined this very elite company of spacefaring entities. SpaceX is one of two companies that have signed multi-billion dollar contracts with NASA to provide commercial launch services. What's really pioneering is that they'll be carrying people one day. The shift to commercial carriers is part of U.S. President Barack Obama's goal to put the space program back on what he calls a more financially sustainable course. By buying the services of space transportation rather than the vehicles themselves, we can continue to ensure rigorous safety standards are met, but we will also accelerate the pace of innovations as companies, from young startups to established leaders, compete to design and build and launch new means of carrying people and materials out of our atmosphere. The theory is that using private companies for low Earth orbit projects frees up NASA funds for missions to send astronauts deeper into space. But the approach has its critics. Some politicians and former astronauts have accused the Obama administration of killing the American dream of space exploration. But for now, NASA says, its focus is on perfecting the Falcon 9 rocket and its Dragon capsule. The next test flight is expected in the spring of 2011, when the capsule will approach the International Space Station and possibly dock with it, all to test the system for a human flight one day. Confirm. Docking is complete.